Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. So today I'm going to be working on this 2011 Ford Escape hood removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. The link is up above and also down below. So in this one right here, the vehicle sustained a... I guess like the latch right here popped open while they were driving and it bent the corner of the uh, hood right here. So the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and lift up that hood. If you guys go right here, you follow this line up, you're gonna go ahead and uh, pop this cover off right here. And it's gonna be like these, um, let me show you guys. So this cover right here comes off with these little push pins looking things right here. And you can actually just kinda, if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and push it down. And then it looks like this right here. But if you guys had a flathead or me, I have a panel remover tool that's easily taken off. So there's gonna be one right here, one right here, one right there. So you just follow along and you should like on the top portion of it right there and then like right there on the corners so let's go ahead and take that cover off first so on this one we have one two three four, five, six, seven, eight of these uh, circle little things. All right, on the side of your you're gonna see this line right here. That's basically for your windshield reservoir or your uh, windshield wiper fluid. And if you guys follow all the way through, you're gonna have like this connection right here. You kind of just twist it off. kind of just twist it off like back and forth and it usually just releases itself but if it doesn't get like a flat object and kind of like like that and then pull that off actually on this one right here there's actually an easier way to take it off so if you guys come over here and you see this clip right here kind of push back on it and it actually releases it. You guys see right there? If you just go ahead and push down on that, it'll go ahead and release it. So if you guys did that, you can just go ahead and pull this down. And this thing off. Like that. Take this off right here. And then there's a clip right here. Go ahead and pull that to the side. All right, guys. So the next step would be right here on the side of the uh, hood, so you guys can see. Let's go on to the side right here. You're gonna find these uh, bolts right here, and it's gonna be a 13 from what it looks like. 13, and just go ahead and take this off. So you guys can see, you're gonna have to take off this one right here and the one on the other side. So the best strategy to do this safely would be to have another person help you out so let's go ahead and get that other person and for me i also have a handy stand already ready but if you guys gonna work on this hood you can have like the floor or something to put it on Right, so the next step is gonna be to take off all the accessories off of this hood so these things are just like popped off so they're kind of fragile so you got to be careful so just kind of pop off like that 
right there. And then this middle piece right here, those again just, just pops off. So if you don't have one of these things, a flathead would work just as well. Guys, you guys have this uh, nozzle right here and all you do is press down on the prongs you just press down on the prongs like that and they come off so you guys can see this nozzle right here just press down on this and this I think that's all the accessories that we need to take off of this hood. So we're gonna get the new hood and put that on. So on these nozzles, they look like they're all just the same. You can just put them on any of the holes. I don't think there's a particular order you have to put them in. All right guys, so here's our brand new hood right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put all the accessories back on this one. And then, uh, yeah, and then put it back on the, put this new hood back on. Again, the nozzles don't have a particular order they need to be in, so you just go ahead and pop them in. If you guys actually look right there on the hole for the nozzles, there's like these, uh, these grooves right here. And you just line it up, making sure the nozzles, first of all, facing your direction, which is like to the windshield and then just put them on just like that so now we're going to go ahead and put that rubber piece those rubber pieces on so again on this one just line it up with the uh, holes before you clip them on right here guys all you do is go ahead and screw them in just like that and I forgot about these things right here and just put those on right here all right so let's go ahead and get this hood put on so again you guys gonna need two people for installing this hood.
gonna drop it and see see the alignment. Watch that corner for me. See if it's hitting it. Oh. Huh. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and look up the look at the lines. Make sure they're all even. We're gonna go ahead and push that hood down. To just tweak this side a little bit. Yeah. Let's go ahead and mess around with it, making sure like the the gap is uh, even. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So it just basically hinges. Then need to be readjusted. So if you guys have a problem with alignment on the between the fender and the hood, usually just adjust the uh, the screws right here on the hinges right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put on those windshield nozzles. So first, we'll go ahead and put this one back on where it was. that cover on right there so all you gotta do is line up with the holes and push the pins back into place like that should be done now all right guys so that's how you install a 2011 Ford Escape hood if you guys have any questions comment down below and I answer all those questions for you thank you guys for watching